War Diary, day 630 of Russia's war against Ukraine. The killer of Anna Politovska, at least the man who organised the hit, um, is one of the prisoners who served for six months in the war in Ukraine. He's done his stint and now he's a free man back on the streets of Moscow. So what's happening here is that Anna Politovskaya was probably, at the time, Vladimir Putin's most fierce and most effective political opponent. She was a journalist, she wasn't standing for office, but her reports were incredibly brave and incredibly strong. She was investigating Russian war crimes in Chechnya, and also who was responsible for the Moscow apartment bombs of September 99. The answer, by the way, is that this was a black operation by the KGB. Um, and everybody knew that. I first started reporting this in March 2000. Um, and I believe both British and American intelligence were fully aware of what happened. Anna, as I said, was a great critic. And then she was shot dead on Putin's birthday. So, her killer is free. Now this keeps on happening, but there's something else has happened. Um, yesterday, a German journalist was exposed to receiving 600,000 uh, euros um, via a complicated um, system of shell companies, some of them based in Cyprus. And so what we've got here is well, is it just one German who's been on the take from dark Russian money? I doubt that. I think there are other people too um, in the West who've taken dark Russian money to do the Kremlin's bidding. And over time, we will find out who those people are. But shame on you. Shame on you for taking Russia's dark money. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>